Now, I'm guessing you already know this, but art printables are a type of digital product that are created with the intention of being printed. But how do you make these and sell them on Etsy? First of all, here is a summary of the art printables process. You will create a design and normally sell it as a high quality PDF in multiple sizes. Your customer then can take this digital product, print it themselves at home, or take it to a local print shop. The thing I like most about art printables and why I recommend it so often is once you do the upfront work of creating the product, the product itself is completely passive. Now, a lot of people will argue it's not a passive product. There's no such thing as a passive income product. However, with the product itself, there is no upkeep. Once you create it once, it can be listed and sold forever without you ever having to lift a finger. But of course, with any business, you need to market the product, let people know about your shop, and of course, do customer service. But the cool thing about Etsy is when somebody purchases your digital product, it's automatically sent to them. So you don't really even have to do any instant work after your product is sold. You'll just need to be available in case somebody has questions. And something you can do to help with having less customer questions or concerns is by making sure your listing is full of details as well as sending them an instructional PDF along with their digital prints so that a lot of their initial questions are already answered. And lucky for you, I actually created an art printables guide. I used to have a version for free, but this is an even bigger version with a lot more helpful information. You can get that in the description of this video if you wanna get your hands on it. it. Includes an instructional PDF that you can give your customers, telling them exactly how to print their art printables, as well as instructions on how you can give them a free art print to collect their email address so that you can create a community of people outside of Etsy. So definitely grab that in the description. Now in this video, I really wanna dive deep into how to make art printables for Etsy. So a little different than actually creating them. I have a video all about creating art printables where I actually walk you through how to use Canva, the different platforms and tools you need to actually create an art printable. But in this video, I really wanna show you how to use an SEO research tool to make sure that you're creating art printables specifically for Etsy search. The first thing you need to do is pick a niche. You'll probably hear this tip a lot in any kind of like social media tips video or Etsy related tips video. You really need to hone in on one specific theme or topic if you're wanting to truly be successful. The idea here is that you want to attract one type of audience and that one person love every type of listing that you offer on your Etsy shop. So in the video I did about creating an art print, I used the theme Boss Babe Art Printable as an example. And I found an Etsy shop who was doing this perfectly. If you go to her shop, everything on her shop really fit that like pink, black, white, girl boss, boss babe, vibe and the point of doing that is so if somebody finds one of your prints in search and they go to your shop they might end up buying 10 of your art prints versus just that one because they may like all of them because they fit their vibe. So just keep that in mind when creating your art printable shop. Try to make sure that they all are cohesive, they all fit with the same style. When I had an art printable shop, I really stuck with the abstract boho theme, so all of my prints really could be paired together and people would commonly buy like three art prints at one time so that they could maybe hang them side by side and all of my art prints flowed really Really well together. But before even getting to that step, before even deciding what your theme is going to be, you can use a research tool to help you determine if this is the right way to go. Because just saying, I'm going to create nursery art printables and just assuming that's going to perform well, that might lead to a lot of waste of time and zero sales. So what you want to do instead is maybe brainstorm a couple ideas. You could even go to Etsy and just search art printables, see what people are doing, write down a few that interest you, and then head over to a research tool and utilize that to figure out if any of those topics of art printables are actually selling well on Etsy. Now, there are so many different tools that you can use to do Etsy research, and I am on a mission to try them all. Currently, I've been using Insight Factory, and so far, so good. And if you use the link in my description, you will get your first 20 searches for free. But right now, I'm gonna show you how to utilize that tool to determine if your art printable ideas are viable. So when you go to the Insight Factory website and click on Etsy keyword tool, it will take you to their database. And simply you're just gonna type in whatever it is you're searching for. I'm gonna go for Boss Babe art printable for this example. 
and oh, oh no. I'm gonna use Boss Babe Art Printable for this example. So once you search for your keyword or key phrase, you're gonna be able to scroll down and see a mixture of different stats that can help you determine if this is a good product to sell or not. So first things first here at the top, I always click show extra stats. It's just gonna show you a little bit more information. And the two things that I usually pay attention to are last sale and views. So of course you want a product that has a lot of views. This means a lot of people are looking at this product, but even more importantly, you wanna choose a product that has had a recent sale. If you have any questions questions about the tabs at the top of this page, just hover over the question mark and it will explain what it means. But when it comes to last sale, it is gonna show you when this listing has made a sale. So scrolling through here, you can already see not recently, not recently, no sale. And then here we have today. So here is a listing that has had a sale today and lots of views. So that might be something we wanna look into more. Here's a good one. This one has had sales this week and has over a thousand views. So what I'm gonna do is save listing and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. So if you continue scrolling down, here's another one. This one has had sales two weeks ago, 471 views. It's definitely something worth looking into more. So now I have a couple to work with. I do wanna show you where these go if you save them. If you look on the left side here and click my saved items, it will show you everything that you have saved. I actually was doing a little research before, so there's an extra one here as well. And that way you can go back and look into it at a different time. So you're pretty much gonna keep doing this until you find multiple listings and use these as inspiration. So for example, let's go ahead and click open this Etsy listing. This is from Girl Boss Vibes, who is a really big seller in this niche. And her print says you get what you wish for, but wish is crossed out and says work. So this is kind of implying you need to work hard to get what you want. So you could use this as inspiration to create some art printables if you're going for that you know, girl boss vibe. So going back, I'm gonna show you a couple other tools that they have. One of them is track Etsy competitors. And I'm actually gonna use girl boss vibes as my example as a competitor in this niche. So here at the top where it says shop name, you will search for girl boss vibes or whoever Whoever your competitor is. And now it's actually gonna show you their specific listings. Again, at the top right, I'm going to click show extra stats. And you're again gonna see when they had a sale and how many views each listing has. So again, this is one of the top sellers in this specific niche. So she's getting a lot of sales on her products and a lot of views, but this is a really great tool to be able to see what they are doing that is working. And another thing that you can do to help with this search, at the very top, you can filter based on last sale so that way you're only seeing things that have sales on them at the top or you can do it by views as well so one more tool I want to show you in insight factory is Etsy trends if you click on the Etsy trends over here in the left hand side it's gonna actually show you things that are trending and they even have a category of four digital products now you can do a search at the top so that you're finding specifically art printables for example We'll go ahead and hit search. And now it's gonna show you the trending art printables currently. And so you can scroll through here and see if any of these match up what it is you're trying to create. And then you can use that as inspiration to make sure that you're creating things that are actually already trending on Etsy. So now that you have a few ideas of products that actually will sell on Etsy, I wanna give you another tip on how you can even further your research. And that is by going to Etsy search and actually putting in the search term for that art printable. So let's again, just use Boss Babe art printable as an example, and you're gonna scroll through until you find the star sellers. Those are the sellers that are performing really well. Their customer service is great, which means they have a lot of happy customers. So I would use them as a great starting point, and you're gonna wanna do a little research in their shop. Now, absolutely by no means copy anything that they are doing. You just wanna use this shop as an inspiration of somebody that's doing it right, and you can actually figure out what they're doing wrong and how you can make it better. So while scrolling through their page, you wanna ask yourself a few questions. What does their shop look like? How does it make you feel? What types of prints are they offering? How many images are they using for their listings? What colors do they use the most? How many listings do they have? What are their reviews saying? By asking these questions and really thinking about the answers, you can determine 
what they're doing that's really standing out to you as amazing. But then you can also do a deep dive in their reviews. What are people saying that they love about their art prints? What are people saying that they don't love about their art prints? Is there something this seller is doing that a lot of people aren't happy with and you can use that information to make sure you're not doing that? This is just a great way to dive deeper into the art printables that you're wanting to create and make sure you're creating the best possible digital product that you can. I know you're trying to create this digital product business so that you can make some extra money or eventually do this full time. But the most important thing about starting an Etsy shop or selling digital products is the end user. That's the person that you're selling to. They are the most important person in this process. You want them to find you. You want to please them and make them happy. You want them to come back and and buy more. So when doing any research on digital products, keep the end user in mind. Once doing this research, you should walk away with quite a few art printable ideas, but if you need some more details on how to create the art printables and list them, make sure to check out this video here. Thank you so much for watching and keep your head in the clouds.